everyone. Today I'm playing Arcade Empire and I joined with my dad. Hello everyone. So let's get straight into it. And today there was a new update, but we're not going to go through the full review of it. We just want to do a short and quick video of the two new arcade games in the shop. That's right. So if we head into the shop right now, yeah. we're going to have a look at them. Okay, so on the left here, we have the Dogfighter, as everyone is very familiar with the Dogfighter already. And next to it, we have the Foosball, uh, which is a one square space game. Uh, two players, I believe. And then over here, we have one of the other two new machines, which is the Drifting Legends, which is again a one square machine, which is a one player. And of course, we have the other um, OP machine in the shop right here which is the four player air hockey so there's a big debate going on at the moment which is the best between the dogfighter and the air hockey air hockey the four player air hockey so they were both op but if we were to have a closer look at the two machines that were dropped today in the update the fuzzball and the drifting legends i think we've got a new op machine that is even better than the dogfighter or the four player air hockey what 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 yes what? yes so i'm just going to bring up an image on the screen now and we'll just quickly talk through it so you can have a look at what i'm talking about so if you see here um what i've done is i've put the machines down the left hand side the squares the number of squares that they take up so you can see just in legends fuzzball and dogfighter all have one and then the four player uh, four player air hockey has four obviously um, they have one player, two player, three player, and four player in that order. And then we've got the cost. So I'm not too worried about the cost. I'm not going to have a close look at them. But if we have to look at the amount of money per play, um, per machine. So if you have one Drifting Legends, it gives you $81 for a normal machine. If you have a Fuzzball, it's 73. If it's a Dogfighter, it's 65. And if you have a four player air hockey, it's 49. Now, if you look at the Golden, it's even higher, of course. And at the rainbow, it's 2,835. And if you look at the fuzzball, it's 2,555. The dogfighter is now only 2,275. And the four player air hockey is only 1,715. So if you put four of those, an additional three of those machines into a four square space for each of the first ones, which are all one square, um, and then you, you compare it to the four player air hockey, which is taking up four squares. You can see clearly that the Drifting Legends does come out on top. So if you had four of those machines in four, four squares, you would potentially get a minimum of $11,340 um, per, not per play, but for each of those machines combined. So for all four of those machines combined, you'd get 11,340. Whereas with the one air, uh, four player air hockey, you'd only get 6,860. So it would appear very much to us anyway, if our maths are wrong, please do tell us down in the comments where we've gone wrong, that the uh, Drifting Legends is the new OP machine within the Arcade Empire. Would you yep. agree, buddy? Yep, I would agree. You would agree, only because I've shown you the maths and I don't think the maths lie. So if the maths numbers are wrong, please tell me where I've gone wrong. But I think we do have a new uh, OP machine within the game, which is the Drifting Legends. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to buy as many of these as I possibly can. So I'm going to buy a max um, 397 and I'll still have some money left over. So I'm going to buy them now and then I'm going to buy some more. Go max again. I can't because my inventory is full of course so i'm going to go down here and upgrade these to a rainbow well golden first so if i go combine all i've got 40 of these golden right and i'm going to combine all of them so i've now got four of the golden drifting machines so drifting legend machines. so i'm going to quickly dock into my arcade so i'm going to put these two down here now I'm going to leave these four here now and I'm going to maybe go off and buy some more as well if I can afford it. And I'm just going to try and do what I've done on my ground floor. If we duck down there, which is put them into a four by four configuration. So that's probably the best configuration because what it means it allows your your workers to get to them quickly and then duck to the other floors to go off and service the other machines as well. So you never really have a machine that's kind of um, the money hasn't been collected or it needs a service or it's... Um, so we just see there right now, this one over here, 
was a bit dirty and then straight away our worker was able to come down and clean it up. Now if you kind of put your machines all the way around the floor, it's really difficult for your workers to get to those machines quickly to be able to service them. So that's why I just have a 4x4 four four configuration on each of my floors, except for the one floor where I have um, my four player air hockeys, which I actually might replace now with the uh, drifting machines. Do you know what, Appa? What? I wish I could trade in this game. Yeah, probably a lot of people wish they could trade in this game, but I don't think we'll probably get trading because I, don't, I haven't seen trading in my restaurant. And this game is very similar to my restaurant. So to be quite honest, I, I don't think we'll ever see trading in this game. There are other games to which trading is a bit more suited to, but maybe not so much this game. But you never know. Never say never. Maybe. So that's it for today's video. If you did like it, please hit that like button on the way out. And if you are new here, please do consider subscribing. If you are already subscribed, thank you very much for your support. We really do appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.